Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to work on subtraction of fractions. Now, in the last section, we did addition of fractions. And so you should have a pretty good idea that you have to have a common denominator in order to add fractions. Well, in this section, I'm going to tell you, you're also going to need a common denominator to subtract fractions. So addition and subtraction of fractions really are very, very similar. You check to see if the denominator is the same. If it is, then you can go ahead and add or subtract them. If it's not, then you're going to have to go ahead and get that common denominator before you do the addition or the subtraction. So really, I could have combined this section with the last one because addition and subtraction of fractions are so similar as far as the steps, but I wanted to split it apart so that you would have everything separate uh, and so you could build your seal sort of separately. But just know that addition and subtraction of fractions uh, is very, very similar. So to, to show you that, rather than just tell you that, let's go ahead and work a few problems. So what we're going to have, what if we have something like uh, 3 eighths minus 2 eighths? Well, the first thing you do is check to see if your denominator is the same. And in this case, it is the same uh, because our denominator is 8. So basically what you do is you keep the denominator the same, just like we did for addition, so that part of it is, ex is exactly the same. Uh, now here, since we are subtracting these fractions, we're going to subtract the numerators. So it's really doing the same operation that's in the center here, it's just that you know, you're doing it to the numerators. Before, if, if this was plus here, we'd be adding 3 plus 2 in the numerator, but, but because we're subtracting these fractions, we end up subtracting those numerators. So 3 minus 2 is 1, the denominator stays as 8, so the answer is 1 8. Now this step right here in the middle where I'm writing out the subtraction of the numerators, uh, that's going to be up to you. Some of these problems in the beginning, I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you. I'm going to write it down so that you'll know what I'm doing. But really as you start subtracting fractions, much like when you started to add them, you know, you might write that in the beginning to remind yourself what you're doing, but really you just need to look at these things and say, well, the denominator is the same, so I'm going to leave it, and then I'll just subtract the numerators. 3 minus 2 is 1. You could just write down 1 eighth because this problem is so simple. Um, but it, notice that it is very similar to addition because really you're checking the denominator first, and then you're, you're doing the actual step. So what if we had something like uh, 7 ninths minus 1 ninth? So I check to see if the denominator is the same, and it is. So the denominator stays the same. In the numerator, because I'm subtracting, I'm going to have 7 minus 1. So 7 minus 1 is 6 ninths. Now, just like with every fraction problem, the answer that you get, which is in this case 6 ninths, we always check to see if it's simplified. And we look at this and we say, well, I can divide this by 3, and I can divide the bottom by 3, because I can divide the top and the bottom of a fraction by anything I want, just like I can multiply the top and the bottom of a fraction by anything I want, as long as I do it to the top and to the bottom of the fraction. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9 divided by 3 is 3, so the answer is 2 thirds. Okay, now let's keep going. Let's say we have something like uh, negative 1 fifth minus 3 fifths. Okay, so I look and I see, well, yeah, I've got negative one-fifth and all that, but the negative part really doesn't enter into it in the beginning. The first thing I do is check and see, I do have a common denominator, so I keep it. I don't do anything special. I just keep that denominator. In the top, I've got negative one minus three. The negative one minus three. So that's what I have in the numerator. So negative one minus three is negative four over five. And